All right, here's a short little video on why we all need, those of us long range shooters, why do you need a scope level on your, to clamp to the tube of your scope? I, I'm gonna use a bunch of examples here that are totally unauthorized. Okay, here's a rifle with a magnified optic. This is terrible. <laughs> There's a trigger. This looks like a 14th century blunderbuss, but that's okay. So when you're shooting a long range or shooting any gun, your barrel is actually elevated, but your scope, this is, none of this is going to be to scale. So don't send me a message telling me that your scope is pointed at the target at where you want your point of impact to be, but the axis of your barrel is pointed at some angle up in the air. And we need to determine what we're going to make that here to do this example. So I think we use one degree of rotation about the axis of the scope. And what I mean by that, I guess I'll keep describing the problem. If, if you already are, well, if you're familiar with what this is all about, then there's no reason to watch this video. But if you're behind, if your eyeball is back here, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. There's a little eyeball. You're looking down the scope. Here's another picture of from that perspective. See if I can use this. Oh, that's fancy. Okay, you're behind your scope, and so here's the buttstock of your rifle. <clears throat> and um, and your barrel should be pointed straight in line with the rifle scope. And so here would be your reticle. That's a not let's make it a little fancier modern that's a h59 um but if you have if you have any can't in your we're going to one degree here for our example so theta equals one degree or maybe we'll do two no let's do one i, I don't i think one is going to be about half a foot and so do we can just extrapolate out and then we'll know what two degrees would be so let's say uh yeah, one degree. So if we change this picture just a little bit to describe what the problem is here, race this barrel. So we're I'm gonna, so we can't perceive that the scope is actually tilted. The barrel is supposed to be pointed straight, but if we induce a cant into the scope and we rotate it this way just a little bit, in reality, our barrel is then going to be pointed off. If we can it to the left, then the barrel is gonna be pointed to the left. And instead of our bullet going straight, then our bullet is gonna be off to the left. So how do we figure out what that, so just one more way to describe what the angle that we're looking for here. This is one degree, oh my gosh. One degree, This so that'd be 30, 45, 60, 90. We're trying to figure out this little sliver right here. How much is that going to equal at 1,000 yards? And let's say that I know off the top of my head, I know I'm just going to do this for my 308 because I've got the, the elevations roughly memorized for that. Although there's, they're always different depending on the atmospherics and the... Um, conditions so but 11 mils um, at a thousand yards 11 milliradians for those of you that don't maybe know all what all this terminology is so this is a 308 caliber 11 milliradians at a thousand yards that's roughly the elevation so let's see here I need to figure out what a uh, I need to figure out what one mil equals in degrees. Um, so let's see. There's two pi radians in a circle. So that's going to be 
2 times 3.14, that's going to be 6.28 mils. So 6, oh my gosh. 6.28 times 1,000. 6,000, so I could have done that in my head, I think. <laughs> so 360 divided by that, 6280. 360 divided by 6280 equals 0 0.057. 0 0.057. So 1 mil equals 0 0.057 degrees. And I need, so I need to multiply that times 11. times 11, 0.63 degrees. 11 mils equals 0.63 degrees. So that's this, that's this angle right here is 0 0.63 degrees. That my gun is, my barrel is elevated 0.63 degrees in order to hit a target at 11. So now I need to figure out, now I'm gonna draw us another triangle here. The base, this is 0.63 degrees, this angle here. This is gonna be 3,000 feet. And so we need to figure out what this, this side of the triangle is over here. So let's see, we're gonna use uh, tangent, no. Sokatoa, opposite over adjacent. We want tangent. We want. We do want tangent. So tangent. Oh my gosh. Tangent times 0.63 degrees equals. We're going to cross multiply. Call it question mark over 3,000. Let's try that. Lord. Tangent, 0.63 times 3,000. Third, wow, 30, almost 32.9, so 33 feet. Thirty-three feet, that's crazy. So at if you're aiming at a target a thousand yards with a 308, uh your your barrel is actually pointed at a at a place in the atmosphere that's 33 feet over above the target that's kind of wild um but your bullet is actually coming out and going up like this but your barrel is is pointed i think that makes sense <clears throat> okay so there's our tar there's our triangle that figured out our height of where we're pointed at now let's see what I can make a good way to do this. Okay, so we need one more triangle here. This is gonna be where we're gonna tilt the, show how the scope gets tilted. So this is gonna be the, the line that we want our barrel to be pointed at, but we accidentally tilted it over this distance, which this is our one degree angle right here. So we have this triangle here that we need. This is 33 feet, we just figured that. So now here's our another triangle. We're trying to figure out this distance right here. So we got one degree, and then this is 33 feet. Here's, uh, so we're gonna use, we're gonna use tangent again, because we're not, not using the hypotenuse at all here. So tangent of one degree equals X, or question mark, whatever, over 33. Let's see what this is. Oh, 
tangent of one degree times 33. 0.576, that's feet, so that's over half a foot. I was thinking it was about half a foot. So let's see what we do. 0.576 times 12. Six, almost set, let's call it seven inches. 6.9, 0.57 and 6.9. So one degree at a thousand feet equals 0.57 feet or 6.9 inches. So that would be almost 14 inches for two degrees. Two degrees almost equal 14 inches. So why are you gonna miss your target if you accidentally can't your scope when you're on the side of the hill? Then you got wind involved as well. So you get long range shooting is all about taking as much air out of the equation as possible. So if you can keep your scope and your barrel pointed in a straight direction, which is what the level is for, you can avoid missing your target by things, distances like seven inches, 14 inches, whatever. I don't even know what can be perceived. I think one, two degrees is completely imperceptible um, based on the bubble level. A lot of times I'm shooting with guys that don't have bubble levels or even if they do have bubble levels and they're not paying attention to them and they're missing, you say, hey, check your level. And they check it and bang, they're back on the steel at whatever distance. So this all just gets magnified as you can tell with angles. But that's why you need a scope level on your long range gun. Adios y'all.